this is Musal, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Our save has been completed, and we are... Waking up? Wait a sec, what is going on? Yeah, seriously, what on earth? Why are we at the guild? Oh. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. And we passed out at Crystal Lake. What about Azelf? Okay. Azelf is okay. I'm glad to see you're okay too, Miko and Musol. I should let the guild know you're awake. Everyone, they're awake! We're awake! We're alive! Really? Awesome! Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news! Ah, uh, we're alive. I'm just glad to be alive. I... I... Oof. You guys are getting so emotional about this. Oh, that's right, there's something I need to share with everyone. Hey, hey! And what would that be? What? What did you say? You're saying that the Great Dustor and Grovile, they may have known each other bef before all of this? Um... Uh... Well then, what became of Dusknor? Well, Grovile escaped. I think he went off in pursuit. The emergency siren? Hey Diggly, what's the matter? An alert from Magnemite. I'm told it's an emergency call sent out by Officer Magnazone. Deputy Magnemite, please shout out your message down to the sentry post. Please speak clearly. This is about an important announcement from Officer Magnazone. This is, this is everyone. Please gather at the main square in Treasure Town. Zzz, zzz. You will have a major announcement to make to everyone. Zzz. All Pokemon in the area have been called for this town meeting, not just those in the guild. Zzz. Zzz. That is all. We hope for your cooperation. Thank you. Zzz. Okay. Apparently we have to go to the town square. Let's go to the town square and find out exactly... Chapter 13, Duskinor's Secret. Yeah, I interrupted myself. Oh, look! The guild members. So the guild Pokemon were even called. For them to be called, something serious must be happening. Azelf! Yuxi! Mesprit! Yay! All right. What's going on? And what happened to Grovile? What happened to Grovile? He slipped away. That stinks. If I may interrupt, the Great Dustnor plans to explain what he knows, and that topic will be included. Now everyone gather around, please. Okay, we are going to figure out the truth right now. Golly, I wonder what this all could be about. Who knows? Don't ask me. Everyone is here. Okay. I'd like to get this meeting started. Our topic, the rash of time gear thefts. Several time gears have been stolen by the Pokemon Grovile. I'm pretty sure we know that already. A serious problem. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yay! We protected one of the time gears. The mighty Azelf. The hero who saved Azelf and chased off Grovile? That will be the great Dusknor right here. Hey, what about us? We worked hard too. Okay, he's going to tell us everything. Everyone. Well, we should be happy that we protected the time gear this time. The fact is, Grovile remains at large. 
Therefore, we cannot afford to feel safe and secure. Grova will most certainly make another attempt to steal the time gear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he will try and attempt to steal the time gear again. It is an extremely important matter I must share with you. Uh, how important? I'm scared. I really don't want to know. Seriously, though. Spit it out! Spit it out already! Earlier, Miko asked me the following question. Did I know Groval from before all of this happened? That is correct. I do know Groval from before all of this. <gasps> what I'm about to say may be beyond your belief, but it also happens to be the truth. Oh, I'm so scared. Many people say that the truth hurts, and I'm pretty sure it will. I'm scared to know. I don't want to know, but either way, maybe we should. I, therefore, ask for your undivided attention. First, Grovile is. Grovile is a Pokemon that came here from the future. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. From a place where things are yet to happen. That seems impossible. In the world of the future, he will be a notorious criminal. He has a large bounty on his head. To avoid capture in the future, he fled. And in fleeing, he escaped to this, the world of the past. After arriving in this time, Grovile plotted until he hit upon an utterly catas catastrophic plan. What was his plan? Uh, what's his plan? Come on. Causing the planet's paralysis? And what the heck does that mean? Yes. If a planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. When a time gear is removed, the flow of time slows in its region. As many more are taken, time slows as it is in an ever larger area. Oh no. In the world where the planet has become paralyzed, everybody dies! Yeah, that's right, everybody dies. No? Everybody die? I, I thought everyone would die. Darkness. Complete ruin of the world. The thefts of the time gears. I want to get out of here. I'm too scared. Hey, hey, I have a question. There's something that I don't understand. Yes, what is it? I understand that we've got a big problem on our hands, but what I don't understand, well, it's about you, Dusk Norser. Why do you know so much, Dusk Norser? I mean, I know that the great Dusk Nor is knowledgeable and wise, and. Uh, I really respect you and all, but how would you know the future, no matter how knowledgeable you are? That's true. Under normal circumstances, it's true. There is no way that I should know these things. So why do I know these things? It's because I, too, am a Pokemon from the future. Um... Can you say that again? Are you kidding me? My objective is to capture Grovile. It is for that reason that I came from the future. I need to know as much as possible to ensure the capture of Grovile. I therefore studied everything I could about this world while in the future. That is why I know so much about this world. Why didn't you say anything before? I'm sorry. I felt terrible not saying anything. I'm sincerely sorry for not revealing my identity. I am full of contrition. Oh. Well, it's okay, because... Dusknor is a good Pokemon, because he's trying to capture the evil Grovile who's stealing the time gears. What would have happened if I had said that I was from the future? Who would have taken me seriously? Yeah, you're right about that. Also, I needed to avoid alerting Grovile to my presence. I decided that I should keep my identity hidden while I, 
while I went about with my work. It does make sense, actually. I've been deceiving you for keeping silent about my identity. I sincerely apologize. You had no choice. He has done nothing wrong. He has seriously done nothing wrong. Yeah, come on, let's catch him. Everyone is going to help capture Grovile. Isn't that great? Yeah, you can't let him steal another time here. He has Pokemon must all work as one to capture Grovile, then put an end to Grovile's calamitous plot. Yeah! Ooh, nice music. Dust Norser, in order to obtain the time gear from Crystal Lake, Grovile knows that he has to defeat me. So he's still after my time gear. Grovile will come after me. Yes, that is true. We could turn that against him. Mesprit, Azelf, and I can go to Crystal Lake. Then we could all spread rumors claiming that we have gone to seal the time gear so that it could never be taken. This is an interesting plan. You're suggesting that we bait the trap. Ooh, a trap! That sounds nice. I'd like nothing more. They... They want to become bait? Okay. Please pay attention and do your part. First, I would like everyone to spread a rumor far and wide. Get the word out about the three Pokemon, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azel. Spread word that the trio has returned to Crystal Lake to seal the time gear away. Please spread the rumor as much as possible. I see. So you want word of this to reach Grovile's ears. That's correct. But Grovile won't be convinced by rumor alone. That is why I must ask the trio of Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azel to do something. I must ask them to actually go to Crystal Lake. Oh. That's when we can catch him. Yeah. This is a pretty nice plan. Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf have done it again. All right. I'm sorry, I'm grateful for your kind offers. But for the capture of Grovile, I would prefer to work alone. What? Are you kidding me? Grovile, Grovile will be extremely wary. Even if he were to realize that Azulf and the other two have truly gone to Crystal Lake, he will be cautious in the extreme. So if we were to lay a massive ambush for him at Crystal Lake, he would undoubtedly notice the unusual number of Pokemon in the area. I'm afraid Grovile will not be lured out by Azelf and the others that way. So I must apologize and insist upon capturing Grovile by myself. Ah, uh, I understand. We would have wanted to capture him, but... Eh. He's not being selfish at all. Up to now, we were capturing Grovile. You top Wait. Why would Chat Tot say that? That was the plan. This time, stay out of it. We'll provide support only as needed. Well, hey, hey, hey. If that's what it takes, we have no choice? Is that an acceptable plan, Guildmaster? Yep, yep. Whew, he stayed awake, thank goodness. I can understand how you feel, Chat Tot, even though I truly dislike you, Chat Tot. Let's capture Grovile using whatever means necessary. Yeah! Alright. We're gonna capture Grovile. Yay! Alright. Guess we have to go. Yep. Gotta go back and do our jobs. If you notice this episode is really long, you can go ahead and you don't have to watch the whole thing at once. Oh! Today's Oh My Gosh has been unlocked. Yay, we unlocked a special episode. Okay, obviously we'll be doing that after we beat the main story. Let's check the boards. Devious Lotad. 
Destroyer King. Oh my god. Shingling hidden among friends. Hoot Hoot's escape. Oh my gosh, these things are scaring me. Uh. Retrieve. Who stole it? They're really fast. Surf gets snatched the Ross Berry. Um, why don't we do some regular jobs? <laughs> uh, I know. I'm making myself look bad. Anything that has a- oh! My life savings for it. Okay, I guess we'll do that job, I guess. Uh, I'm not- I don't know. A Pokemon has vanished, let me see my love. I don't care about your love. But, either way, I'm gonna have to do it, cause I have no choice. Oh, before we do anything, we're gonna have to go back downstairs and take Surviper off our team. Because Surviper is not going to be of any use to us. Okay. Ooh, let's put Joe and Bob on our team. Nah. Unfortunately, I don't want to do that. Um, and while we're out, we might as well level up, right? Because, as you know, I'm severely underleveled. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys know that by now. I will see you after this job because I do not want to extend the video time any longer. Alright, we're back. We completed the mission. Hooray. We get a Violet Seed, which is nice. We all should get a Vile Seed, which is going to be very useful and I think I'm going to save it for an important boss battle. We got you the Reviver Seed? And you join our team. Interesting. Uh, you're male. Uh. Uh. Yeah, how about another generic name? I named you Dave, because I couldn't think of anything else. And yay, we're eating stuff. Nom 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 nom. Hooray for eating stuff. Hooray for eating stuff. Okay. Are you still awake? Yeah, I think I'm still awake. That was crazy, yeah. That wicked Grovile. To take him back to the future. Hmm. We would like, yeah. I would prefer to capture him, but. Yeah. We have to depend on Dusknor. Are you kidding? I'm awake. I just don't like talking. It's morning? I'm pretty sure I could figure that out. Alright. We're gonna have to end the episode here. But that doesn't matter because I'm going to be uploading another episode right after this. So that's going to be pretty nice. Okay. This is Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, and I will see you next episode.